hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video today i'm going to be showing you how i do acrylic toes i'm not the best at this i only am doing this video because it was requested um but i'm just going to show you the steps i do when i do acrylic toes as i've started doing them recently if you haven't already subscribed to my channel like this video comment down below any questions you have and press the notification bell so you never miss a video so the first thing that i do before i even start doing the toes is i spray the feet down with alcohol same way i'll do the hands basically just to sanitize and clean them off and then i will go back and push back the cuticle on the toes which i haven't included in this video but then after that i will go in with my 240 grit sanding band to remove the shine from the natural toenails and um make sure you go around and do this properly especially on the big toe as there can be a lot of dead cuticle on the nail plate so you want to make sure that you've removed all of that or use the nail um cuticle pusher to at least scrape a majority of it off and then use your sanding band to completely file it off the nail plate so then what i'm doing now is i'm using a 100 100 grit manicure file i bought these off hollywood nail supply i will link them down below and these are what I use on the natural nails. Um, they, these are less aggressive and less coarse than the 80-80 um, grit files that I use when I'm doing acrylic nails. Um, I use these to basically shape the edges straight. And because um, when I'm doing toes, I like to go for the square shape. So I just use that to file the natural nail toenails. Um, when I'm doing acrylic toes, I do not like to add tips unless like the client has requested and so far no one has requested for me to add tips. So I basically just do an overlay on the natural toenails. So I like to have a base um, and shaping the toenails provides me with a good base. So um, like a good outline of how I want the shape to be. So now I'm just going in with my nail dehydrator to dehydrate the nail bed, um, which is what I do normally for when I do acrylics on fingers. And um, silly me, I'm only now putting on toe separators. Sometimes I forget I have these, but I use disposable toe separators. I'll link um, down below. Um, it's better to use the disposable ones. So after every client, you can just throw it away. But yeah, I'm putting that on and then I'll go in and prime with my Mia Secret Extra Bond which is the primer that I use all the time, which is linked down in the description below. If you're struggling to find a primer, just use this one. This is very affordable and it's a really good primer as well. So that is also linked down in the description below. And now I am just taking my white acrylic powder and I am taking the first bead and placing that in the middle of the um, big toenail work with your beads quite dry you don't want to work with wet beads because what i'm doing now is shaping the edge of the toenail and her toenails were a bit broken and cracked on the sides so i had to form the corners myself and in order to do that the acrylic cannot be runny so i drained the bead of most of the liquid first before i placed it on the natural nail to make sure that i can basically sculpt what you're doing is basically sculpting the shape of the toenail and with this, I like to use like a thin, uh, the first um, bead of acrylic has to apply quite thinly, um, which might cause it to break if you see in the video, like it's it um, separated a bit, but I just put it back together because the um, monomer I use is good in terms of, it's not like fast setting, it allows you time to work with the acrylic. Um, the monomer I use will also be linked down in the description box below. So that's what I do and I make sure that I just use the belly of my brush and the tip to mould the corners and um, yeah just shape it into a nice square shape and then I'll go in and add the remaining beads. Also at the cuticles you do not want to work wet otherwise it can flood into the cuticles as you can see me wiping down the cuticles like quite often. So you want to make sure that your beads are quite not dry like but not wet at the same time I, it's so, so hard to explain so you guys just have to like watch what i'm doing um and yeah basically just keep wiping down the sides because you do not want to flood the cuticle with acrylic on the toes because that could cause toes the toe um acrylic to lift and you don't want that to happen because toes can get damaged so easy and they take so long to grow out acrylic toes 
are nice but they can also be like really bad if you hit them or if they start to lift and they snap off like it's really painful so you need to be careful how you apply it and make sure that you seal the cuticles well by running your brush along the cuticle to make sure that all the cuticle that has maybe flooded that i said all the cuticle all the acrylic that has maybe flooded in that area can like be wiped up and i'm basically doing the same thing for each now just going in placing the bead um and then basically patting it down the bead is not too wet or too dry at the same time but work more on the drier side than the wetter side because it'll make it easier for you to mold the acrylic especially if you are not using tips like me um it will just make the whole process much more easier toes are actually quite hard to do they look easy but i'm telling you they're actually quite hard especially because the nail bed space is absolutely small you're not extending the toes like you would acrylics normal acrylic nails so the space that you're working in is really tiny so the beads you have to pick up have to be extremely small and not runny or not too dry otherwise it could like really mess up your application i have a mastered toe application yet um, my toe application is still you know not the best but um even in this video i have to go back and correct some of the nails that i did because they were a bit wonky um but yeah as long as you can fix it in the end with a file you're good because um my application here is still a work in progress but yeah guys that's it really
now that i've finished application i'm going back in with my 240 grit sanding band and i'm just using that to file the surface of the nail smooth i told you my application is not the best on toes so i'm just going in to making sure that all the lumps and bumps have been smoothed out and i'm going in and doing that with um on every single toenail and then also making sure that i have sealed the cuticles properly and that um any acrylic that has been like leaked anywhere has just been filed off and that's what i'm gonna do now as you can see And now the hand file that I'm going in with is the 8080 grit one that I use for acrylic. Now that I've applied acrylic, I can use a more coarser file to file the shape and make it nice and crisp and square. That's what I'm doing now. Then I am using my disposable buffers to buff the surface. I got these disposable small buffers off of Amazon and they come in a pack of like 50 or 100 for a good price. So I will leave them linked down below as well. Now that I'm done with that, I am going in with my top coat, which is the D&D top coat. I will leave that link down below. This is the top coat that I use in all my sets just to finish off and then I will cure it and apply cuticle oil and then we'll be done. And here's the finished look guys i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like this video and comment down any questions you have below i'll see you in my next video guys bye Mwah.